All right, if you saw the last video, then you know I had to shut down in the middle of the desert on the side of the road where you couldn't see a foot in front of your face. It was so dark. Let's see what it looks like this morning. Check it out. There's the highway. This is what we're parked. <laughs> oh, man. Cool, huh? I'll let you guys see this cliff over here. Yeah, this guy was parked right along the edge. I don't know why they do that, man. That's dangerous. Anyway, that's beautiful, huh? I like it out here. It's a little chilly, though. Not too bad. Got plenty of sun! <laughs> but as far as you can see, the see. Now, there's a sign up the road here that says no services for 94 miles. And before that, there's a little town called Tonopah or something like that. And there's really nothing much there. <laughs> nothing to it. Okay. And, 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 and after that town, there's a sign that says no services for 100 miles. So you go 100 miles through the desert. You come to that little town where there's nothing. And then you go another 94 miles. And uh, you come to Area 51. <laughs> Which is where we're trying to go right now. So if you've been watching the videos, you know at this point, if you watched the last one, we're attempt we are attempting to run 3,800 miles in one week. Which is crazy to try to do legally. <laughs> Today, in this day and time. Alright, so... We started out in Little Rock, Arkansas, went to CrossFit, Arkansas, CrossFit, Arkansas to Sparks, Nevada, Sparks, Nevada to Reno, Nevada. Now from Reno, we're headed to Greenville, Texas, and we got to be there by Monday. <laughs> if we pull this off, this is a big deal. Okay, so anyway, I got to get my pre-trip started and hit the freaking road. We will stop at Area 51 uh, where there's a brothel. A cafe, uh, a little store, and uh, stop in for a little quickie. <laughs> I mean, some a little quick breakfast, <laughs> and then uh, hit the road. I may stop at one of these little ghost towns and show you guys what it, what they're like if I can. But I've got to really conserve my time. We have fourteen hundred miles to run by Monday morning at this point. Oh my gosh, this is crazy! <laughs> That's right, we're back! Area 51! <laughs> we're back! There's the brothel! Anyway, so I'm just... I just gotta grab something quick for breakfast. I need some caffeine and some double stuffed Oreos. Then we're out of here. Gotta make it... Alright, let's see what we got here! I got a beef tamale and red sauce. I got... A sweet corn tamale. I have no idea what that is. And of course, my double stuffed Oreos. <laughs> oh, bang! I'm gonna drive forever. Hey, bang. Alright, let me try this real quick, see if it's any good. Sweet corn tamale. Hmm. That's weird. It's just like cornbread in there or something, see? Really sweet. Hmm. Now it's time to try the beef tamale. Looks good. Hmm. Beef tamale and red salt. Kind of falling apart. Hmm. Pretty darn good tamales. Now it's time to roll out. Alright, we have stopped here at the pilot in Kingman, Arizona. Gonna get some fuel and some death and take a 30 minute break. I don't know if I can eat anything. Those freaking tamales are filling, man. I may need to though, so I don't have to stop later. But as you can 
as you can see we got six hours left of driving eight hours on duty I should be able to run about 300 more miles uh, of this and let's see how much we can do <laughs> we're trying to run 3800 miles in one week this is crazy I did not fill it all the way up I put a hundred gallons in it because of the overweight problem on the front it's freaking bobbles are heavy man so I put 100 gallons in it. I put this at about well, a little over half a tank. Uh, now almost three quarters, right? Three quarters of a tank. That should be good. So I'll have to stop and fuel again. We're like 1,100 miles, I think, from where we're going. So let's get this thing going. Yes, we are sitting in front of the fuel island, <laughs> trying to complete a 30-minute break. People are gonna be like, "You asshole!" <laughs> uh, anyway, I gotta throw some trash out, run in and get some water and some bait pods. I might grab some snacks for the road, just in case I get hungry later. I'm not hungry at all right now, and hopefully I can complete my 30 minute break here, but if someone pulls in behind me, I gotta move. I have to move the truck real slowly so it doesn't put me on duty. <laughs> I just wanna get my 30 minute break done and get the hell out of here. I gotta run some miles today. Got 1100 miles to run by Monday. Oh no! <laughs> Some guy just pulled in behind me. I just got back from the damn truck stop. <laughs> oh, that means I gotta move. I'm trying to. I'm trying to eat a little healthier. So this time, I got. I'll show you what I got. Cheddar jalapeno Cheetos. <laughs> And of course, you probably already guessed it. <laughs> Chocolate paydays! I got two of them. Yeah, the nuts, you know, they got nuts in them, so that's probably healthier than a lot of the other candy bars and stuff. But I'm really not that hungry, so I just grabbed a couple of snack items. I really need to really run some miles today. I got six hours left of drive time, but I won't be able to run that out. Maybe I can, though. Maybe we can. Let's see what happens. Alright, so here's my plan as of right now. I got six hours and 24 minutes left to drive, but there's a flying J six and a half hours from here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. There's a Loves just before that one, and maybe I can make it to one of them. Boy, I'll be pushing it. Really pushing it hard to make it. But there's all, there's some little small truck stops along that route that don't show up on the navigation apps. That if I have to, I can pull over maybe at one of those. But, oh man, that was, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to really book it and keep my eyes peeled for places to stop. I really want to make it to that Loves or that Flying J. Let's see if I can do it. I'm thinking this right here is what's going to save me right now because I've only got five more minutes I've got to sit here to complete my 30 minute break. See all these trucks so I can't get out. <laughs> as long as I can't get out I can keep sitting here for a few more minutes. <laughs> I don't have to move. As soon as my 30 minute break is over we're going to rock and roll buddy. I know this guy behind me probably wants out but I can't get out. <laughs> I know I'm trying buddy but look I can't get out <laughs> three more minutes three more minutes <laughs> oh I forgot about some I got eight hours to drive see well actually six but my break is reset because your on duty now counts towards your freaking off duty break. I forgot about that. So I can actually leave. Yeah, the new hours of service rule. Your on duty time. Okay, I fueled. So my on duty time while I was fueling counted toward my 30 minute break. I forgot about that. But, as you can see, we only got 21 hours to get this delivered. So I need to rock and roll and get out of here. Let's go. I know, how am I gonna get out if I'm blocked in? Well, it's easy, you just cut in front of everybody, just like that. <laughs> hey, they'll stop before they hit you. 
No, actually, I didn't have to cut. I mean, if you're trying to get out and you start pulling forward, usually someone will let you out. But this light right here, man, that's what's holding everybody up. That's why the traffic's getting backed, backed up right here. Oh, come on, we need to run some miles. Well, believe it or not, we have made it to the Epping J with an hour and four minutes to spare. And I was thinking we may not even make it here. We made it. Oh my word, we made it. Now if we can just find parking. This is one heck of a huge truck stop, but look how that pickup truck is parked. That's somebody's gonna get hit, man. That's some stupid shit. Anyway, so uh even though it's as huge as it is, <laughs> it's freaking packed. Yeah, there's no parking at all in this freaking truck stop, and it is huge. Look at all the damn trucks coming to. Holy crap, more and more and more. Then once you get in, you can't get out. Yeah, after driving around that place for about 10 minutes and realizing how crazy that place was, I left. I'm at a Petro, and look how I'm parked. But, I mean, at least people can get out and stuff, so... They might wake me up and say, you got to move your truck. But we got two parked right beside me the same way, parked the same way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at it. Ten minutes left on my ELO. Man, this is getting crazy. The parking is bad out here. There's no freaking parking anywhere. It's only 9.41. It was like 9.20 when I got here. Something like that. So I had to drive like 39 minutes to get here. Oh god. And but at least I ran more miles. I've got like I've got seven hundred and forty seven miles left now. Uh to get where we're going. So we might make it by Monday morning, but I don't think it's gonna be seven thirty in the morning. <laughs> anyway, so I'm re really gonna pull this off. I gotta run my ass off tomorrow. Thirty eight hundred miles in one week, that's crazy. <laughs> we might be about to pull this off, so you guys stay tuned. Alright.